turn your lights on and leave them on for two minutes. That gets rid of any surface charge on the battery. After two minutes, you want to shut your light off. So what you want to do is take a multimeter. This one's a pretty nice one, but if you have a Walmart one, you just set it on DC volts on 20. Uh, you want to take your hot lead, put it on your hot post. Take your black lead and put it on your black post, negative post. You should have around 12.6 or a little bit higher. Now that we know the battery is good, but this number doesn't mean anything. We're going to have to test the cold cranking amps to see if it has enough cold cranking amps to turn this uh, thing over. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. What I like to do is leave these here and run the leads up to the window. Now this shouldn't go below 10. It should go down to 10. But if it goes below 10, that lets you know the battery isn't any good. So we're going to test cold cranking amps. Seems to be working pretty good. The amps will go up. That's just the alternator charging the battery up. Uh, looks pretty good. That's how you test your battery. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I thought I'd make a video because it is winter time. It is going to be two degrees here in West Virginia. It's a perfect time to test your battery. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know each and every time I upload a video. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.